Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Today we are looking at 15 rare coins that recently sold at auction. So we'll show you guys the prices that these coins actually sold for and why these coins sold for these prices. So let's just hop right into it. But if you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and collectible videos here on the channel. Let's go. Starting off first here with a 1870. Now we're gonna have more modern pennies in this video. Older coins, newer coins, kind of get mixed around here. This is an 1870 mint error coin and it is the Indian head one cent coin. Now it is a very low grade. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is only at a four. So it's on a very low end of the grading scale. So it's meaning that it's in, you know, not great conditions. Graded by NGC, coin grading company and it has a reverse die break. So we also refer to these as cuds, and you'll see that little extra metal there on the reverse on the back of the coin as we zoom in here on the rim of the coin. So always be on the lookout for that. You can look for that on modern coins, you know, Jefferson Nichols, uh, you know, uh, more modern pennies, quarters, all different denominations. This coin ended up selling for over $150. So that is pretty nice to, you know, have a $150 coin in that condition. Now here is a 1907 Indian head one cent coin that has been double struck. So as we zoom in here, you can really see it on the feathers there, the double strike uh, taking place. So the whole design has been struck twice, right? So it's double struck. We'll see that there on the reverse of the coin as well. If we zoom in there to the shield, you can really see it. Uh, so you can look for double strikes again on all kinds of different coins, not just Indian head pennies. This coin is not in great condition either. It's only graded at a good six. So this coin sold for over $165. Let's move on here to a wheat penny from 1917. This is the S mint mark. This coin is graded at an AU55. So we're getting a little bit better in grades here, but it was struck off center. So again, you can have a lot of common off centers on modern coins that aren't really worth too much money. Uh, it all just depends on the condition and and the, and the coin that is off center and the date and things like that. Can you see the date? How off center is the coin? Uh, all those are going to affect the value, but something like this, 1917 to be off center, a very cool coin, and the coin ended up selling for over $360. Now here's another cool coin that sold for you know thousands of dollars here, 1943S. As we know in 1943, they produced the steel penny. Now this penny was struck 45% off center and that's why the coin sold for over $3,200. Can't beat $3,000 for a penny. Now here's a super rare coin as well. This is a 1943 penny. Now it's actually not the steel penny. It's actually the 1943 Lincoln wheat cent design that was struck onto a silver 10 cent planchet. So it looks, you know, if you're not really familiar with coins, it looks like, you know, like a beat up steel penny in a way, right? But it's actually a mint error. It was struck on a silver dime planchet. And that's why the coin sold for over $3,600 can't beat that. Moving on here to another double strike. Now this coin here is the 1945 wheat penny. Uh, 1945 wheat penny, very common coin, uh, of course, unless you have it in an extremely high grade or have some type of mint error like this. As we can see here on the left side of the coin, the coin has been double struck. The second strike is 15% off center. And then again, we'll see that here on the reverse of the coin as well. This is a very awesome coin. Love to have something like this in my collection. This penny ended up selling for over $480. Moving right along to a 1964 Roosevelt dime. As we know, this is the last year that they produced the 90% silver dimes. In 1965, they transitioned to uh, clad dimes. Now this dime has been struck 35% off center, which will give it some value. And it's also graded at a Mint State 64 by PCGS, the coin grading company. Now this coin ended up selling for over $200 dollars can't beat it 200 bucks but you got to keep in mind you got to pay to get these coins graded uh, so that's going to cost you money so a really you're not going to be making a fortune off this coin uh, you know once you get to grade it and try to resell it and pay fees and shipping and all that stuff so uh, take all that into consideration when you guys are trying to buy and sell coins. I'm not really too much into, uh, you know, buying and selling coins. I'm more just of a collector myself. Uh, so if I had this coin, I would probably just get it graded and keep it in my personal collection. Now, this coin here is a 1964 Lincoln cent that has been graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64 red-brown. 
the error kind of speaks for itself, right? It's been triple struck, as we can see here, three different strikes on this planchet. Uh, that is pretty cool, man. Wow, look at that. I would love to have something like this in my collection as well. This coin ended up selling for over $660. Moving right along to another penny that is awesome. I love this coin here. 1971 D mint mark that has been double struck. It also has that indent there on the obverse of the coin up top, as we can see there in the image displayed. And wow, just look at that. That is awesome. That's an awesome looking double strike. And we can see that again here on the reverse as well. This penny sold for over $165. Next up is a 1990 Lincoln cent that has been double struck with an obverse die break. So we can see that here in the images displayed. You'll see that there on the bottom and towards the left side of the Lincoln cent. And then again, we'll see that here on the reverse as well. Uh, this penny ended up selling for over $55, so not super valuable. Uh, you know, you're not really going to make anything off this after getting it graded. Uh, maybe even lose money in some cases. But hey, it's a cool penny to have in a coin holder and authenticated. Now here is a 1995 Lincoln cent that was double struck with the second strike being off center of course here. And this coin ended up selling for over $80. So that's a pretty cool coin as well. Let's move on here to a 1998 Jefferson nickel. That is a quadruple strike. So it was struck four times. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. We'll see that here on the reverse also. This nickel ended up selling for over $430 and it is graded at a mint state 63. Next up is a 1999 Lincoln cent. This penny here graded at a mint state 63 red has been broad struck. And if we see here, if we look here on the back, you'll really be able to tell. Um, well, you can on the front as well, a little more difficult to tell. But here on the reverse of the coin, you'll also see that the design is rotated 180 degrees, that second strike. You'll really see the word America here on the left side of the coin uh, rotated. So that is pretty cool. And actually here on the front of the coin, you'll actually be able to say, see uh, Liberty there on the right side of the coin very faintly. Uh, so that is a pretty awesome penny there. It only sold for around 69 bucks, but hey, it's a, it's a really cool mint error. Now here is a no dated Lincoln cent where the obverse was struck through a capped die. So you can look for die caps on all kinds of different coins. Also, this coin here ended up selling for over $260. Some will not be as extreme as this. There's all kinds of different examples of die caps out there. I've talked about a lot of them in my videos. 260 bucks, I'll take it. Next up is a pretty major error as well. This is a broad strike and we also have an indent here on the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin. Uh, it is no dated because we can't see the date as a result of the mint error taking place on it. And this coin is graded at a mint state 66 red and the penny ended up selling for over $100. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.